Okay, so here's the deal. This is a rational expression in terms of cosine. You can try to do u sub, you can try to use any of the identity, you can try to do the conjugate, whatever you want, up to you. But I will try to use the wire drop substitution. So what do I mean by that? Let me show you. I have a video on that. If you want to go check that out, the link will be in the description for your convenience. Anyway, here is the idea. I will start by letting t as my new variable equal to tangent of x over 2. But don't ask me why. Why? You have to ask why straps why and how. But I did a video on that, so go check that out. Anyway, based on this, we can actually derive other expressions. Because you see, this right now is in the x world, and because you pick t, so I will have to bring that integral to the t world. So based on this, in fact, you can actually come up cosine x in terms of t. Cosine x is actually the same as 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. And also I need a dx, and dx is nicely equal to 2 over 1 plus t squared dt. So I pretty much just took these formulas from the previous videos I did. So once again, seriously, go check out. And let me just focus on the integral. And then in the end, plug in the 0 and the pi. So let's focus on this right here. All right, so here we have the integral of 1 over a is still a minus cosine x is this now. I will just write down 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. And dx is this now. So I will just write down times 2 over 1 plus t squared dt, like that. And we'll just integrate this in the t world. Well, this right here is technically in the parentheses. I will have to multiply this with this and that. And you are going to see this is going to be, perhaps we can put a 2 all the way in the front, right here. Integral 1 on the top over this times that is just a plus a t squared. And this times that, of course, they cancel. So we just have minus. And of course, let's distribute the negative. So we have minus 1 and then plus t squared, OK? And then dt like this. And this is pretty good because, in fact, we only have two terms if you factor things out nicely, like the following. This right here is just 2 times the integral. 1 is still on the top over. Let's combine this and that together. And perhaps I'll put it at the end right here. So let me write this down. This is a minus 1. This is the constant term. And then I'm going to be adding this with, once I factor out the t square, I will end up with a plus 1. So let me just put that down right here. And then we have the t square. So we have this plus that. And you see, this is t square. So we have the inverse tangent situation that's about to show up. Well, well, let me just quote this for you guys right here. Let me just make a note and put it down right here. If you're integrating, Let's say 1 over, and because I use little a already, so let me use capital A right here. Suppose if you have capital A plus t squared dt, or x, whatever that you want. In this situation, you have a nice formula. This is equal to 1 over a times the inverse tangent of, well, whatever the variable right here, which is t over a, like that. And of course, plus c. If you guys want me to, I will do for you guys to make you guys happy. But anyway, I also have a feature on this. So go check that out if you need to. So anyway, in order for me to use that formula right here, I don't want this a plus 1. I will just factor that out. So here is the algebra. I will have 2 all the way in the front over the a plus 1. right? So I'll factor the all the way right here. And then times the integral on the top is 1 over well, this term didn't have the a plus 1. So I will have to do a minus 1 over a plus 1. And then I will just put down this as plus. And this is all the way out already. So we just have the t square here and then dt like that. Right? So that's what we have. But I want to actually make this right here as a perfect square. So I will have to do this thing, square root that, and then square that. So that's pretty much it. All right, and now we can just pretty much use this formula to integrate, which is not that bad at all. And we see this is going to be 2 over a plus 1. And by this, I will have to first get the reciprocal of this number, which is just, I mean, just write it down, square root of a plus 1. This is on the numerator now. And then over that in the denominator, like this. 
And then perhaps I will just use the blue for this part, which is the inverse tangent of the variable t right here. And then I will have to pretty much put this in the denominator. So in fact, let me just pretty much to the, put the reciprocal right here, which is just that. That's square root of a plus 1 over square root of a minus 1. And then the t is chilling on the side like that. And that's what we have pretty much. Well, well, t is the only variable. t is what? Tangent of x over 2. That is how we have to, uh, what we have to do to go back to the x world. So let's see. Hmm, let me just write it down here. Let's do a few things. This is a plus 1. I will write this down as square root of a plus 1 times square root of a plus 1. Why? Because now this and that cancel. And you see, on the top I have 2, so let me write it down. This is 2 over. Both of these terms, they have the square roots, so I pretty much have to just multiply the inside. So if you focus on a plus 1 times a minus 1, you get a squared minus 1 in the square root, like this. And then we have the inverse tangent. M depends on how much you like square roots. If you don't like it too much, right here I will recommend you to just kind of rationalize either the numerator or the denominator. Up to you. Yeah, and since I have the a minus 1 in the square root right here, I am just going to rationalize the numerator. So let me multiply the top and bottom by square root of a plus 1. And also let's multiply this by square root of a plus 1. And of course, we still have the, ch the t chilling on the side like that. Anyway, this and that will give us just a plus 1 on the top over this and that is just this, which is square root of a squared minus 1. And t is inverse tangent. Well, t, sorry, t is tangent. It's the regular tangent. Yes, it's really crazy. You put a regular tangent instead of an inverse tangent, but you do have this constant multiple in front of the regular tangent. So you cannot cancel things out. Anyway, t is that guy, tangent of x over 2, like this. And with that, if you want, you are done for, the, uh, for that integral. But let's do some work, of course. Let's put down some numbers, of course. The original question was from 0 to pi. That means you pretty much do all this, and right here you go ahead and put down 0 to pi. Plug in pi first, of course, and let's see. First of all, I have 2 over square root of a squared minus 1. And I'm going to be plugging pi right here. And let's make some notes on the side. Well, tangent of pi over 2, this right here is actually undefined. So technically, that was, uh, that, that's going to give us an improper integral. So we have to technically take some limit. And because you're going from 0 to pi, that means from 0 to pi, you don't want to hit pi yet. You want to avoid that by moving a little bit to the left. This is technically pi minus. So that means it's actually uh, pi over 2 minus. So that's just a number that's slightly less than pi over 2. But anyway, if you look at the graph of tangent, you will see this is pi over 2. And the graph of tangent looks like this. I just want to show you guys that this goes to plus infinity. Anyway. This is plus infinity times whatever this is. This is just finite. So you have plus infinity right here. And if you take the inverse tangent of plus infinity, you get pi over 2. So that's what happened when you plug in pi minus into this x. That's the first term that we have. And then next term, we have to pretty much just minus. But this is just 0. Plug in here, you get pretty much tangent of 0, which is just 0, which is just 0, which is still 0, which is also 0. In the end, like that. So finally, the answer is nicely equal to just pi over square root of a squared minus 1. And with that, we are done.